Today we're going to be taking a look at a 2023 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. Let's get started. The 2023 Toyota 4Runner might be the last year of this fifth generation and we're taking a look at this today in the Solar Octane color, which is a color that came out in 2022 for the Tundra TRD Pro and now it's been carried on over to all the other TRD Pros this year. And under the hood of this TRD Pro, we have the 4 liter V6. This is tried and true. It's been in the 4Runners for over a decade now. And it makes about 270 horsepower and gets about 17 miles per gallon with combined driving. And like I said, this may be the last year of this fifth generation 4Runner. So if you are looking to get the V6, this may be your last chance to get one before the 4Runner goes to a four cylinder. We're going to start this overview by going over the exterior of the 2023 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro and then later we're going to jump inside and talk about some of the features. Starting off in the front of the 4Runner here, you can see the grille doesn't look like an ordinary 4Runner grille. So any other 4Runner is going to have a Toyota emblem right here instead of having it spelled out. This is the Heritage style which on the 4Runners is exclusive to the TRD Pro trim. And just underneath the spelled out Toyota logo right here, we have our front mounted camera, which is gonna assist with the 360 degree view that we have on the interior of this 4Runner. And then just below that, we also have a radar right here, which is gonna assist with some of the Toyota Safety Sense features. And moving on over to the side, we have our headlight and fog light. Now the headlight is not LED, it's old school halogens, but the fog lights are LEDs. And moving further on down, you can see we have our tow hooks, we have our TRD skid plate, and we can see some of the suspension components right here underneath this 4Runner TRD Pro. You can see we have the Fox shocks underneath here as well. We have our non-functional hood scoop, which is just here for styling. This doesn't actually do anything, even though it has these little holes and cutouts right here in the hood scoop. Doesn't actually serve any function, but it makes for a nice contrast with this orange. And a quick note on this solar octane color, up close, especially when the sun hits it, it's a very metallic orange. And on camera, it seems like it's appearing pretty red. So this is definitely one of the colors that I really recommend seeing in person because every time I see solar octane in videos and in photos, it looks very red when in person, it's a very, very, very bright orange. And moving on to wheels and tires, we have our 17 inch TRD Pro black wheel here. You can see we have our red center cap, which says TRD on it. And this is a six lug pattern with a locking lug nut. Now the tire size here is 265, 70, 17, and the tire is a Nitto Terra Grappler. Let's continue over to the side of the 4Runner here. Looking at the side mirror, you can see that we have a turn signal indicator built into the side of this side view mirror. We also have one of our cameras that are gonna assist in the 360 camera, which we'll see once we get inside the car. And then we also have blind spot monitors on these mirrors here. So this is something that was added last year. The door handles of the 2023 4Runner also have keyless entry, so we can go ahead and tap on these two lines right here to lock the 4Runner, and then if we wanna go ahead and unlock it, we can go ahead and put our hand just right here. And a quick question for the comments below, in your region, do you refer to the 4Runner as an SUV or a truck? Up on top of the 4Runner, we have our sunroof, and then just behind that, we have the roof basket. And moving further back, we have our TRD Pro badging right here between the second and third windows from the side. And you can see this iconic third window right here with the 4Runner is gonna be separated from the front two windows. And just below that, we have our gas door and our gas cap. Now do know if you do get this 4Runner that neither the gas door or the gas cap are gonna lock if you lock the 4Runner. Down below here on the sides, you can see we have some mud guards behind both of the front and rear tires. Moving on to the back of the TRD Pro 4Runner here, you can see we have our headlights, which are halogens as well. So we have, again, no LED tail lights in the back. We also have a third centered brake light up at the top over there. And then a really cool party trick that the 4Runners have been doing forever is of course we have the rear sliding glass back here. So we're just gonna go ahead and push down right here on this unlock button. That's gonna go ahead and fold down the rear glass right here. So if you're coming up to the car, you can always just put something in the trunk and then go ahead and push up on this button right here. That's gonna go ahead and bring up this window again. And if you're wondering if the 4Runner has a rear wiper, yes, it does. It's just hidden away and tucked up at the very top right here, kind of between the glass and this little spoiler. We have chrome Toyota 4Runner badging, which doesn't really match with the rest of the black badging around this 4Runner TRD Pro, but that should be a pretty quick and easy fix. Moving down below, we have a spare tire, a two inch tow hitch receiver, 
some extra tow hooks back here, as well as a four pin and a seven pin brake controller. In the back here, we also have a black TRD tipped exhaust. Now, before we jump inside the 4Runner and talk about its features, I do wanna jump inside the trunk and talk about what we have back here. Now, the first thing to know about the trunk here is that it is not power operated. So you are gonna to have to manually lift up this trunk right here, and then you are gonna to have to close it down by hand as well. So we do have these little cups right here where we can stick our hand in and push it down on each side, but we also have a little strap right here which you can just kind of pull down and then do the second motion with your hand. And all of the 4Runner TRD models are gonna come as five seaters. If you opt for an SR5 or a Limited, you have an optional third row. In the trunk here, you can see we have the couple of accessories that came with this 4Runner. Looks like we have our rubber mats, our carpet mats, a little cargo net, as well as a first aid kit. Back here, we do have a cargo slider. This is actually a leather cargo slider and it's gonna latch onto these little points right over here. We have JBL speakers all around the interior of the 4Runner TRD Pro. So it looks like we've got some of them back here with the JBL written. We also have a little bit of storage right here on the left and the right side. And then moving back over to the right side, we have our 12 volt power outlet, as well as an AC 120 volt, 400 watt power outlet. All right, let's go ahead and jump inside the 4Runner TRD Pro. So starting right here with the door card, you can see we have our all auto up down window switches for all four of the windows, lock and unlock buttons. We have a little window lock here as well. Over here on the door card, we do have a little bit of red stitching as well as plenty of storage. So we got lots of storage here for water bottles and then some extra storage right over here up top just by the grab handle. And in the corner of this door card, we also have one of our 15 JBL speakers in the interior. Let's take a look at these seats right here. Now these seats are gonna be Toyota's Softex, which is their synthetic leather. These are gonna be not as firm as real leather seats. Now these seats are also stitched in red and we also have TRD stitched right here on the headrests. Moving over to the side of the steering wheel, you can see we have our mirror controls right here so we can control left and right side of the mirrors. We have a brightness control for the center gauge display right there, automatic high beams, camera view is gonna activate the 360 degree camera in the 4Runner here. We also have an on and off switch for that AC 120 volt power outlet that we have in the back. And then we also have a de-icer function for the windshield. Moving just down below that, we have a little hood release down here, as well as our parking brake, which we're gonna be pushing down with our left foot. Sitting inside the TRD Pro 4Runner now, we have a leather steering wheel right here with some black accents. Now we do have some buttons on this steering wheel. We have our music and audio multimedia controls, as well as our phone buttons. On the right side over here, we're gonna be controlling the four inch center display screen that we have right over there. We also have a little favorites page button. And then just below that, we have our radar cruise control and lane depart assist. Now the 4Runner still has TSSP, which is a pretty old system of Toyota Safety Sense. So the radar cruise control is actually not full speed. You can only use it on highways and the lane depart assist doesn't actually correct the steering. The 4Runner still has hydraulic steering and not electric power steering. So with these ones, it's just gonna warn you, it's not gonna actually correct the steering. To the right side of the steering wheel, we have our engine start stop button as well as a heated steering wheel button. Moving over to our center stack, up at the very top, you can see we have a clock and then we have our HVAC little systems right here. So we have these rectangles that we can slide around, emergency lights. Then just down below that, we have our eight inch touchscreen. Now this does have wired Apple CarPlay and wired Android Auto. There's still no wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in the 4Runners. Moving just down below that, we have our HVAC controls. So you can see very, very easy to use big buttons. These are also dual zone climate controls. So we can have a different temperature for the driver and a different temperature for the passenger. Down below that, we have a couple little storage pockets as well as a USB and another 12 volt power outlet. Moving down below that, we have one of our cup holders right here, as well as another tiny little storage pocket. We have our two-speed transfer case right here. So you can see we have two-wheel drive and then we have a four high and a four low. So we can switch this around between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. We also have our gear shifter right here, which this is a five-speed automatic transmission. This transmission only having five gears is sort of what contributes to its pretty bad gas mileage. And then just down below that, we have our little window switch right here for that rear sliding glass in the back. We also have heated seats here for the driver and passenger seat, as well as our second cup holder. And what's pretty cool is this entire center area here is carbon fiber. Between the driver and the passenger seat, we have a pretty large center console right here, also stitched with that red stitching. If we go ahead and open this up, we can see it does go down pretty far and deep. 
We also have our third 12 volt power outlet in here as well. And then if you can see right here on the top side, right after we open up this center console on this top part right here, we have a little tissue holder right over here, as well as some kind of pencil or pen holder just right here. And moving on over to the passenger side, we have this little piece of brushed aluminum right here, just above our glove box, which glove box is a pretty average size. You can see we have some of the paperwork for the Forerunner inside over there. And then moving on over to the passenger door card, it's pretty much more of the same stuff that we saw on the driver's side door card. And moving up to the top, you can see we have our auto dimming rear view mirror here, so we can set this to be auto dimming. And then up further from that, we have our crawl control, so we can go ahead and set our speed right here and set what terrain we're on, whether it's a light or heavy terrain, and we can have the car go into crawl control for us. We have our traction control off, a track, rear differential locker, emergency SOS button. We have home link up here so we can set up to three garage remotes. And then we have our light controls and our sunroof controls, which we can also just open up by hand. And a slight disappointment for me, but the passenger gets a little grab handle, but the driver doesn't get a grab handle. And moving into the second row of the Forerunner TRD Pro, you can see we have pretty much more of the same stuff which we saw on the driver side door card over here on the second row door card. We have some bottle holders as well as some more storage up here as well. And then back here in the second row, looks like we've got some little storage nets to go behind the driver and the passenger seat. We have some HVAC little vents right here, as well as two USB A's. Now this center seat does come down right here. If you don't wanna use that fifth seat, you can get two extra cup holders in the back here as well. And the second row seats of the Forerunner here have a pretty interesting way of folding down. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up on this little tab right here, which is gonna push up this bottom portion of the seat. We're then gonna pull down on this tab right here on the top portion of the seat. The seats are then gonna to come together and make sort of this makeshift bed in the back of your Forerunner. That's gonna wrap it up for the 2023 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. We're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers before the end of this year. So let's see if we can get that. Also, if you're in the California Bay Area region and you have any cool Toyota, Lexus, or BMWs that you'd like me to film, please email me. My email is gonna be in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.